Super at 60. I'm so excited today. I'm gonna make you an absolutely beautiful summertime, fresh, fresh dessert. Something you could serve for company, of course, and something that is extremely takeable. Yeah, that's key today because I have something special to tell you. Lemon angel cake bars. Does that sound good or what? Lemon angel cake bars. There's even coconut in it. Yeah, there's coconut in it. Oh, I'm so excited to make this. It is so good. It is so fresh and so summer. It just screams summertime. And then, you know, if you're watching this video sometime down the line at Christmas time, you can make them then too. It works. It really, really works. Lemon and coconut anytime, but especially at summer. Today, is a collaboration. I told you before, I love collaborations. Today I am collaborating with Katie over at Heritage Ways. If you know Katie, you're a very lucky person. If you don't know Katie, you're gonna get to know her now. Her channel is fabulous. She is absolutely a delight. No matter where her channel takes you, just go with her because she is really fun, she's really cute, and her family is just adorable. So find your way over there. Today's collaboration is called It Smells Like a Church Supper in Here. Isn't that cute? I love it. <laughs> well, I'm making the dessert part, and Katie at Heritage Ways is making our supper for tonight. And I know that her kitchen has to be smelling like a million bucks right now, because soon mine will be with this fresh, fresh summertime dessert. So after we're done here, I want you to roll right over to Heritage Ways. I'll plug that below for you, because I want to make sure you get over there. And uh, check out Katie, because she is truly a beautiful person inside and out. All right, we are going to start with our bottom crust and that begins with an angel food cake mix. That's all you need to start with. So, let's put this open. There we go. All right, oh my. Here, smell that. Doesn't that smell good? Oh. Oh, that smells so wonderful. Why does it smell so good? My goodness. <laughs> Must be a lot of vanilla in here. I haven't used an angel food cake um, cake mix in many, many years. Many, many years. So, cool. Smells yummy. It smells like a church supper in here. <laughs> All right. And now we need one can. This is so cool. One can of lemon pie filling. Mmm. I do, I do have to say sometimes it's a little tough to find, but there are grocery stores that do carry it. Okay, I actually found mine at Ollie's. Do any of you have an Ollie's out there? Yep, Ollie's is such a super fun place. In fact, I wish that we could go on a field trip there because I love Ollie's, <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I love taking family out there and friends and, um, they're all just always so excited when they see what's in Ollie's and the prices, they're so good. They're just so, so good. All right, so that's where I found mine. I also find peach pie filling out there, apple, cherry, blueberry. Oh gosh, I found blackberry one time. Yeah, blackberry. Mm. Lemon pie filling is delicious. Mm, yeah, it really is. <laughs> all right, so we have our angel food cake in here. We have our lemon pie filling. We need a cup of shredded coconut. I'm using sweetened today because I had it. Yep, there we go. And now we need one teaspoon of lemon extract. So let's go ahead and put that in. Yes, we want this really, really lemony. Mm. Mm, I can smell that. Boy, I'm just gonna be saying that all day long because it smells so good in here. All right, let's give it a mix. It's just satisfying, just mixing this up. Yeah, it's a very wonderful cake to make. You will not be disappointed if you love coconut, and mostly if you love lemon, this is gonna be for you. All right, that's it, look at that. Yep, absolutely beautiful. I'm not even gonna run it, run my mixer on high. Just pull these out carefully, get rid of all the good stuff. 
flip this over here. Oops. Instead of tapping on my bowl, I'm so afraid to chip in my glass or ceramic. I just kind of tip, tap my uh, beaters together and it pretty much drops off. All right. All righty, so right now I'm gonna take this I'm going to take my 9 by 13 pan. I've already gone ahead and greased it for you. So you don't have to watch me do that. We're going to go ahead and put it right into the pan. Yeah. Have you guys ever made anything quite like this? When I first heard of this recipe and first made it, I was a little doubtful, especially right at this stage. I thought it looked a little odd. I just, I couldn't imagine it coming out. Um, like the picture said. And this was many, many years ago too. And there were, um, if I remember, people asking if it could be made with anything other than lemon. And I think people said blueberry. I think someone said strawberry. And I think, I think someone said apple, but then I think, if I remember correctly, I think somebody said, no, don't try apple. It, for some reason, it just doesn't work. So I don't know. I always read the reviews. Do you ever read the reviews? If you can, if a recipe does have reviews, because I think some people uh, in there give some pretty good advice, really do. In fact, I think something that I changed in this recipe years ago was the lemon extract. It used to call for uh, the original recipe calls for uh, vanilla extract. And then I read the reviews and sure enough, so many people said, um, go with lemon extract. It makes it more lemony. So I always do that and it's right. It works every single time. All right, this is gonna go into the oven right now at 350 for about, oh, let's say, um, let's say, yes, I gave it a taste. And ooh, it's delicious. Let's say 20 to 25 minutes, okay? Alrighty, I'm just getting ready here now to make the frosting. Oh, wait till you taste this frosting. Mm. All right, there's one eight ounce brick of softened cream cheese. And here's one half cup or one stick, come on now you, <laughs> of softened butter. There we go. Uh, one teaspoon of lemon extract, we're gonna do that again. The more lemon, the better. This is absolutely fabulous. Have you all ever been to a church supper? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, I know there's lots of you out there who have, but there's probably a lot of you who have not. A church supper, oh boy. A church supper is where all the ladies and gentlemen, mostly ladies, I have to say mostly ladies, but guys too. Guys usually are in charge of like the meats, uh, the grills going like in the summertime hamburgers, hot dogs, um, all the families come, all the kids are playing around and having fun with their with their friends. And uh, you know, all the ladies bring all their finest dishes to share with everyone. There's usually like a sign up sheet or something. Um, some people bring the uh, supper, like the, the dinner, the entree, the casserole, if you will. Um, the uh, Let's see, and a lot of people sign up for, there's usually like a salad or a side of some kind, some kind of a vegetable side and a salad. And then there's always, if you're lucky to get on this list, there's always the dessert list. Yeah, and there's usually one of those desserts um, where somebody in the church is like an expert at it. Like, oh, you're gonna bring Mrs. Mrs. Velasquez's uh, chocolate cake, or oh, I hope she brings her famous brownies. You know, there's always that. And then when it's time for dessert, um, the desserts come out on this very big table outside and everybody just kind of runs the dessert table. But in between all the food, there's all the fellowship. It is so much fun to watch the children having a good time and the teens off by themselves talking and laughing. And there's usually some kind of music going on and the adults, the ladies usually in one spot and the men in another. <laughs> it's just a natural occurrence. It just happens that way. It is so, so much fun. And then the church suppers that happen, that happen inside during the uh, months where they can't be outside. We used to have them once a month at our church growing up. 
pretty sure we have them once a month. The smell, holy mackerel. The smell of that church building. Let me just tell you right here. Just wanna hold you up for a second. I just wanna tell you that if you have missed a church supper, going to a church supper in your life, you have missed out on something truly, truly special. So find yourself a really good church. <laughs> Make sure they do church suppers. Go sign up, bring your very best dish. If you have no idea what to bring, go ahead and check some of my videos. There might be some ideas in there. Or go ahead and bring this very dessert and you'll be a winner. All right, now we're gonna add in two and a half cups of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, however you call it. One. It's always such a mess when you bring out powdered sugar. It's always so good, but it is truly a mess sometimes. <laughs> two, that was almost two, so I'll put a little bit more in. And then a little bit, just a half a cup. Just kind of eye it here. All right, if we need a little more, we uh, I'll leave the bag open over here and I can add a little bit more if I need it. All right, very slowly, friends, very slowly. There we go. This is one of the best parts of the whole cake. <laughs> this frosting is so delicious. Yeah, it's really good. In fact, if you just find yourself making some vanilla cupcakes one day, or some sugar cookies that need a little something something on them, pull out this recipe, because it is fabulous. Yes, church suppers. Boy, do they bring back some wonderful, wonderful memories. I hope that someday you'll be able to go to one and you'll enjoy the fond memories that I certainly have of my childhood. And then again, you know, the, all the years later in our church now, um, I have fond, fond memories of those. All right, delicious. You wanna lick the batters? Go ahead. You want to, Joey? <laughs> My son's here. <laughs> yeah, he'll lick the batters, trust me, he'll lick them. <laughs> I'm gonna try it right now. Oh my, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is good, good frosting. Let me get my spatula and just give it a good stir. Smells good, Mom. Oh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> he is busy cleaning out his closet from like high school years. And I am not kidding. We have found some of the cutest, most wonderful things. <laughs> Yesterday he said something about, in second grade, he said, we were good in class. Or, no, 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 it was Valentine's Day. And he said, my mom brought in brownies. I love my mom. <laughs> Is that not the sweetest thing? I don't think I will ever forget that in my entire life. <laughs> Just one of those things, you know, it's a mom thing. It's a mom thing. All right, this is not on the recipe, but you know what? It's in my recipe. It does call for lemon zest to go on the top of your cake and I am gonna do that, but we all know that the flavor of the lemon lies in the zest. So just make sure your zest is super, super clean. Give it a good scrubbing, just like you would any other fruit or vegetable, and uh, zest it up. You don't have to do the whole thing. Just, just until you start smelling it. Oh yeah. I would say that's um, about a tablespoon so have yourself um, at least two lemons, two fresh lemons, when you wanna make this. You know, if you don't have fresh lemons, that's fine. That's just fine. But you will want it. You will want fresh lemon zest for the top of this because it really just makes it beautiful. All right, that is our frosting. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It is so creamy and so smooth. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right back and we are going to once and for all frost that cake. All right, our cake is all ready to frost. Now, I will, I will warn you, give you a little bit of a warning, when you make it in a nine by 13 or whatever, 
Um, it does bake high and big and you think, oh wow, you know, <laughs> you just think, oh wow, like I did um, several years ago, but it does kind of sink down. So you just leave it alone and it does its natural thing and you let it cool completely and here we have it. All right, let's go ahead and put this yummy lemon frosting right on. Oh, it's so creamy and so smooth, my goodness. You don't find frostings like this in a container from the store. I'm just sorry. I mean, some of them, you know, when you're in a pinch, and I've been there too, I am happy to have them, trust me. But when you got everything at home and you have a little bit of extra time, go for it and make yourself a wonderful, wonderful new frosting. Make that a goal this week. I don't know. And just see, uh, see if you can find a frosting that your family likes, that you like, that's easy that doesn't call for a whole bunch of different steps. Something that you can just make in a pinch. And uh, always make sure you have the ingredients. You'll be good to go just about any time. A good frosting can doctor up just about anything you bake. Just about. <laughs> just remember I said that. All right, I'm gonna put on a little bit more. Cause like I said, this is a wonderful, wonderful frosting. All right, so all those lemon lemon lovers out there, this one is for you. Mm, mm, mm. I'm one of them. I love lemon. Lemon pound cakes, lemon cookies, lemon cupcakes, just anything lemon. I don't know, there's just something so nice and refreshing about it. All right, I think that's good for right now. Let's make sure we just cover the top. Now remember, when you're going to a church supper or some kind of a uh, social activity where everybody's bringing something, just keep in mind, and, and I had to learn this, I really did over the years, you're not baking, uh, your, your baking dish is not for the entire church. There are going to be so many other people bringing a dessert as well. And although this may look small, considering all the amount of people that will be there, um, this they, you're not the only one that is going to be baking a cake or baking or bringing a, a delicious baked product um, to the church supper. So this will be just fine. And those lucky people who get to it first, well, they're just lucky people, I guess. <laughs> but, all right, there we go. Oh, absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna take um, my, spatula, my little offset spatula here, and I am going to swirl around the um, zest a little bit because I don't want somebody to get just a big mouthful of zest. I want them to have the lemon flavor throughout, of course, but I don't want just a big old, old glob of zest going in their mouth with that delicious frosting. So I would suggest strongly that this is what you do. It's not in the original recipe but I have found through the years that this is a way to uh, have my zest and eat my cake too, okay? There, you have it. So nice and smooth. Oh, it's such a beautiful glossy frosting. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, come back with me because I'm gonna show you the completed cake and it is delicious. Well, thank you friends so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope and hope and hope that you will make that delicious angel food cake. You can call it a cake, you can call it a bar, you can call it anything you want, just call it good and just make it. <laughs> it is absolutely fabulous. It's soft and spongy. I mean, it's got that airiness, just like an angel food cake, but it's a little, little bit denser, I think because of the lemon pie filling. That frosting, that is killer frosting. If you just make the frosting, <laughs> you will win a blue ribbon, I promise you. Yeah, the frosting is absolutely superb. And that cake, that combination, oh, it is so good. It is so good. And the lemon zest, don't forget the lemon zest. Yeah, it is so, so delicious. I want to thank those of you who have come over from Miss Katie's Heritage Ways. It is a beautiful, beautiful place to be. And to my subscribers, run on over there 
and check out her dinner tonight. I bet it smells like a church supper at her house. So go check and um, come back and join me another time. Please press that uh, like button, if you will. Press the subscribe button. I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of uh, Super at 60 here with me, Darlene. And press that bell so you know when all the notifications of my new videos are coming out. Join a church, be a part, go to a church supper, and start making memories with a beautiful church community near you. Lord bless each and every one of you, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye now. <laughs>